shot. Quote, I know people say, why doesn't he just compete and win the job? There's no real competition with a quarterback drafted so high that a team had to expend extra resources to acquire. He's playing, and that's all there is to it. Ideally, Bradford would get to go someplace and establish himself and be there for some lengthy period of time. That certainly isn't going to happen in Philadelphia. Skip, do you agree with his agent, Tom Condon, here? I, I, I can't believe we're actually asking this question again on the show. Neither can I. I. Mean, Neither I mean, can I. Obviously, I agree because he is laughably correct in what he's saying. And by the way, we're not talking about some flunky fly by night agent no. here, some second, third, fourth tier agent that you'd never heard of. We're talking about the great Tom Condon here, who represents, if I may just throw some out, Go for it. Peyton and Eli, of course, and Breeze and Romo and. Matt Ryan and Stafford, and I can just keep going on and on. He's big time. He's the best. He is speaking the truth, the unvarnished truth about what happened to his client. The game is now rigged in Philadelphia for the second overall pick in the draft, a quarterback from North Dakota State named Carson Wentz. It was classic bait and switch. His client, Sam Bradford, who's an honorable man. I know him well enough to be able to say that. He's a good-hearted guy. He's a straight shooter. He signed a contract with at least the unspoken gentleman's agreement that he would be the starter at least for one year this next year in Philadelphia. Rug got jerked out from under him. So Sam Bradford, to his credit, fueled and inspired by his agent, Tom Condon, did put on his big boy pants, and he flat out called out the Philadelphia Eagles publicly on their bait and switch tactics. It's game over now. It's not a matter of if Carson Wentz will play next year. It's just a matter of when. When will it happen? Will it be game four or five or six? It's as tough a fans on quarterbacks town as there is in this country. You know it and I know it, Mr. Smith. They will be all over Sam Bradford at the site of the first interception. We want Wentz. We want Wentz. Give him Wentz. Good for them. You should throw him in and start him. If you paid a king's ransom to trade all the way up to the second spot for that quarterback, play him. Let Sam Bradford go elsewhere where he can start fresh where it will be a fair fight, where he might have a chance to win a competition to be the starting quarterback. He's got no shot here because this game is rigged. Thank you for saying that, Tom Condon. Tom Condon is a great agent. Tom Condon is doing his job. Tom Condon doesn't deserve to be criticized or excoriated by me, you, nor anyone else because if we had an agent uh, that was re representing our wishes like that, we'd commend him for it. This is about Sam Bradford, who needs to shut the hell up, stop whining, put on his big boy pants, <laughs> and go out there and compete for the job. This question is ridiculous on its face uh. because of what we're literally saying here. We're not even implying it. We're saying, and you of all people, Skip Bayless, should be embarrassed oh, for yeah. taking the I'm position, the asinine position that you take. I'll let you speak, zip it, and listen to me now. <laughs> Sam Bradford signed a two-year deal. If he thought he was going to be a long-term option, he should have signed a long-term deal. He did no such thing. A matter of fact, one could sit there and surmise that the Eagles were willing to trade up because of the lack of commitment that Sam Bradford was willing to give to them. Because when they pursued a long-term deal with him, he was somebody who repeatedly turned them down because he wanted a short-term deal where he could get paid $36 million, $22 million guaranteed. He wanted to go out there and have a situation facilitated for him where he could get paid lovely, produce subpar, and still position himself to get t paid long term. And the Eagles didn't co-sign with that. And you have a problem? Hell with Sam Bradford and what his, what his wishes are. I don't know him. I'm quite sure he's every bit the nice guy that you say that he is. But we are talking about professional sports, the business of professional sports. And even though Tom Condon is right in what he is saying, what he is not saying is that what he's saying is irrelevant because he took the money. He signed a two-year deal. He's guaranteed $22 million. And, oh, by the way, 
What the hell did you do to get the 22, to earn the $22 million? You have never, ever, ever had better than a 500 record in your career as a starting quarterback. Your career record is 25, 37, and 1. You are 12 games under 500. You have never quarterbacked a team to a playoff appearance. Your best season was this past year with the Philadelphia Eagles, where you were 7 and 7 in 14 starts. By the way, the Eagles missed the playoffs. Sam Bradford has never been in the postseason at all in his career. And you get to sit back and act like you deserve security and tenure and longevity? It's nonsense. It's absolute, utter nonsense. He don't deserve a damn thing other than what he's getting. He got his money. Go up in there. We understand that this is no long-term issue. We understand that the Eagles moved up, got Carson Wentz with the number two overall pick. He's the quarterback of the future. If you sat up there, Sam Bradford, and say, look, I'm starting this year, okay? And after this, I want out. That would be a different argument. Because what you're saying is, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to prove to you what I can do. In the meantime, you have this time. Go out there and market my services to the best of your ability and get me the hell up out of here. After next season, I can live with that. But to sit up here and demand in the immediate aftermath of drafting Carson Wentz that you should be the starting quarterback and, 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 and we all know what's going to happen. I'm sorry, Sam Brevin, what's the matter? You scared? You scared of Sam? You scared of Carson Wentz out of North Dakota State? You scared of him? You scared that you can't oh, play better please. than him in year one? Oh. It's ridiculous. No, it's ridiculous. Stop it, your nonsense. No, Stop it, whining it's, it's for him. Tell him to take off okay, his damn diapers me. and go out there and play. Do you think Sam Bradford need to do. has the ability to win the starting job and keep it all the way through the season next year? Do you think he does? Oh, yeah. Oh, if no. he's good enough. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. Oh. If he's good enough, listen, oh. don't tell me that the Eagles can't oh. sit Carson Wentz for year one. Oh, oh please. please. They don't have to play him next they season. They just bet the ranch that, right. and the future on Carson Wentz. That's he nonsense. will play and That's he nonsense. should. You know what he should do? He should play week you know one. What? That's what I would do. If I spent that much and you know why you say future, that? You know why I would you say throw that? him but you know into why the fire in week one. You know why you're saying that, Skip? You're saying that, Skip, because you know that Sam Bradford ain't nothing to brag about. That's my point. I, have I ever said You're that saying on the show? Because he's not did, I, brag did I not say before his draft I wouldn't take him number one? I said he's a second round pick to me, and that's what he's proven to be. What, a second what I'm round saying pick. To you is, what, We're talking about all right, fair that's fine. here. The, then he doesn't deserve anything. He doesn't deserve anything for his, for his contract to be honored. Just, just let him go. He, he signed basically a one-year deal, and you know why? He signed his deal. He signed what, do a one-year one year deal because. Then he do doesn't one know year. Doug Peterson. Has he played for Doug before? Nope. Has he played then for do Frank one Reich? Year. Nope. He's never you played for Frank money. Reich. Has he played with John D. Filippo as his quarterback coach? Nope. Did he, he sign has not. when he it's knew they were there? New. Everything's Did new to him. Did he sign when he, he knew they were there? He needs to figure out where they're heading. So he basically Did made he a one-year commitment. Did he know they were there commitment. when he signed? Did he know they were there when he signed? Yeah, which yes is why he signed for one year, basically. That's what that deal is. It's a one-year deal. So Okay, so let him go elsewhere. You, you made your bet Serve with your, Carson Wentz. For what? Go, go for it. For what? Have the guts. If he's that no. great for the second overall pick, play I, him now. That's all Tom Condon is saying. Not saying. It's, it's not I, a fair fight. And, no, 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 don't give me all what all Condon is saying. Condon is trying to take care of his client to get a long-term deal for him, which he doesn't deserve, number one. And number two, and more importantly, here's the deal. <laughs> Nobody is sitting there saying who should or who should not play. I'm saying if you're the Eagles, it's at your discretion. The man signed a contract. Knowing the situation, knowing Doug Peterson was the new coach, knowing Howie Roseman was now in control, and you signed a one-year deal looking to facilitate a departure from Philadelphia that would ensure your future. Who's to say that Philadelphia could go out there and get somebody that's going to be ready for week one? Who's to say that Carson Wentz, coming from North Dakota State, is going to be ready for week one? Why should the Eagles inconvenience themselves in any way for Sam Bradford? Sam Bradford? Why, I mean, why should he inconvenience uh, waste himself for the waste that organization this is ridiculous. that unscrupulously bait and switched him? They, they lied to him. Oh, he had no idea. Yeah, oh, they did. Yeah. Oh, so, so what, was, what was Sam Bradford doing? What was Sam Bradford doing when he signed a two-year deal looking to get out at the one? What was he doing? What was he doing when he Didn't refused to sign the long-term deal that the Eagles offered to take Carson Wentz.
Oh, please, let's just stop it. Guys. Stop it. It's, a ridic it's ridiculous. The right. hell with Sam Bradford. Sit there, man. Go play. Shut up and play or yeah, get back to chat. play elsewhere. That's where you should play. All right, all right, gentlemen, you both make great arguments. We agree to well, disagree. Well, one of us did. No, uh, you don't make a great yeah. argument, Molly. You yeah. both he do. does. Yeah. You both make great Come arguments. On. I Stop. know you're in Philly. You're yeah. fired up. He's boomer sooner Mo over Molly here. knows what the score is. You know. <laughs> all right. The association, they Molly the are arbitrator. owning mm -hmm. it. NBA admits to five blown calls in the final 14 seconds of game two between the Thunder and Spurs. But is this a good thing for the league? Honesty, always the best policy. The guys will tell you when we come back and they are fighting.